So let me show you how to figure out what the fiscal quarter is when it doesn't match the calendar year. So in this example right here, our fiscal year runs from July to June. So the quarter that I should see for the month of July is actually quarter one, not quarter three. What I've created over here around this thick border, you don't need, this is just for illustration purposes. I've got the default quarters right here, January through December, fiscal and calendar matching. But I want July to actually be quarter one. So just match up July and July, and you put in, this is not required, you put in these numbers here. So those three ones are the very first quarter, that is quarter two, we get around to January, through March is quarter three, and finally the April through June will be quarter four. There is a function, two functions we're gonna need. One is called the month function. You may already know this one. I want to figure out what month that is, and it gives me the number seven. Because I've got a table, it filled it all the way down, but you can see that it's working. I'm going to delete that, uh, delete them all, actually. The other function is the choose function. Let me just really quickly show you how that works. If I say equals choose, and I say the number two, comma, I'm going to put in three car companies, GM, comma, Kia, and let's put in Ford. I said pick the second one. So GM's one, Kia's two, and Ford is three. It returns Kia. If I edit this and I put in a three, I will get Ford, and I do. So there is the choose function. We're going to just combine them together to figure this out. It's really simple. Equals choose. I need to pull the month. The month we have already talked about this is going to give me the number seven. Make sure you close the parent comma. You have to type in these 12 numbers because there's 12 months in a year. We've already discussed this. I'm going to type them because it's July. I want to type them in exactly this order here. So I'm going to do three threes, three fours, followed by three ones, followed by three twos. There are the 12 numbers for the quarters. And there we go. The month of July is fiscal quarter one. June, this was intentional, ends the year. It is fiscal quarter four. Back to January, fiscal quarter three. As you can see, it is working. So there is the month function with the choose function to figure out fiscal quarters. Once again, you don't need what I have in this thick border sitting over here, but it does help you get uh, started on this. One last note. I happen to notice, I think it was NVIDIA had a, they start in August. So basically August would have been one, one, one for October, two, two. And January is actually fiscal quarter two because they had a really weird chart that I saw on their stock price, followed by three, 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 four, four. And July would be a four. So sometimes you get into that. Just remember, play the matching game and match it up. Thank you for your time. My online training classes are down below. Have a wonderful day.